They have been acquitted by the vetting board, the Judicial Service Commission has considered this and I, I am praying that this can finally come to an end and give me peace. Deputy Chief Justice Philomena Mwilu had set the tone early. From the onset, she carved the image of a woman beyond reproach. During her vetting for the position in 2016, she painted the picture of a squeaky clean career in public service spanning over 32 years. Never shy to boldly speak out against graft, this was her response when asked about the cartels who are said to operate freely within the corridors of justice. I am terribly committed to the transformation uh, 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 um agenda. I was not forced to do this. I will never be forced. I started it long before. But even then, she had to face questions about her conduct as a judge. Kandara Member of Parliament Alice Wahome had accused her of being biased when it came to women. Mara nyingi ametukana wakina mama. Tumefika kwa mahakama yake akapereka wakina mama na makesi ya wakina mama vibaya. Siamini ya kwamba akipewa kazi kesi ya wakina mama atamalizia vizuri kulingana na vile katiba imewekwa. I do not know which part of me looks male. I am very f feminine. I am a woman. And I know the, cha the challenges that women face. I have supported the woman's cause in my way. But the law is blind to gender. The Kandara MP had wanted Mwilu to excuse herself from the bench hearing an election petition she filed in 2008. She claimed the judge was biased. She also claimed she had received a bribe to rule against her in the election petition. Irrespective of your personal views, in court, I deal with the business that takes me to court. I don't care who appears before me. Justice Muilu, however, waved away the accusation against her, saying the legislator was unhappy Aye. about a previous case before her Lomena where the MP Lomena. lost. The DCJ also dismissed Justice. the graft claims against her. Please do your private check. Nobody would attempt to come to bribe me. Nobody would attempt. Do your background check. No one will attempt to bribe me. And those who know me know what I'm saying. In 2017, Derek Ngumu, the executive director of the Angaza Empowerment Network, filed a petition with the Judicial Service Commission seeking the investigation and removal from office of the Deputy Chief Justice and Supreme Court Judge Justice Isaac Lenaola over their conduct in the presidential election petition. Charity Mwangi, NTV.